All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to West of Loathing, part number three right here. This is going to be a fun game and has been a fun game in the last two parts. If you haven't seen those, go and take a look at those videos as we've been making our way through the game. Bit of a let's play, if you will, and but doing it on our own, just kind of going with the flow. I've been really enjoying it. Today, also reviewing the Boom XD right here, this microphone system testing out the lavalier. So I have a microphone right here and I have the receiver on my leg right here and that's plugging into my computer via a USB uh, dongle. It's very cool, we're reviewing it, but we're doing some testing and this is one of the videos that we're testing it with. So if you like the audio, hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you like the audio or you wanna learn a little bit more about the Comica Boom XD. All right, here we go, continue on to West of Loathing. All right, so Town of Boring Springs, we've been in here multiple times. We've already gotten dynamite. We've gotten all kinds of stuff. Oh, we attacked some snakes a little earlier in episode number two. Let's just go over here to the trader and see if we can do anything. So I'm trading uh, blocks for soap and the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnakes hides well. Um, hides well, that adventurous soul. I'll trade a fine silver pocket watch. Technically, I did get three snakes but apparently that didn't work, so I'm gonna go ahead and trade a lock for some of that soap. Um, I'll trade for the soap or lock braid, though you really don't think his name is actually Braid, it takes your soap and hands you a lock. So, uh, other than that, no trades for right now. But th this is weird because we did attack three different snakes uh, in, in a different level back over here. We went to the Thousand Snakes Gulch, and here, I believe, I attacked three snakes, and yet I do not see three snakes skins, which is where I would expect to find them. So let me go check out my items here really quick and see if we have anything of that nature. I do not see anything of that nature. So we're kind of up a creek at the moment. So let's go ahead and head on back here to the town of Boring Springs, and let's go see what else we can find here. So we've already taken care of him. He makes me so nervous with that gun. Uh, Alice is still closed. She apparently is visiting with her client a bottle of beverages. So we got a lock. So now we can go ahead and give the lock to the sheriff right here. Uh, let's see, yep, got one right here. You hand the sheriff the lock. That'll do nicely. The sheriff puts the lock on the door that actually, uh, and then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Well, hellfire! Don't suppose you know any uh, how to get, pick a lock, stranger. Got a needle handy? All right, so it looks like now we got to find a needle, and uh, I'm gonna have to go find a needle. Uh, which needles can be found in haystacks, so we'll keep an eye out for some haystacks. I really don't want to be in here right now. Uh, and we've already talked with him so far. And uh, let's see, afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Just browsing, thanks. Uh, let's see, it's your new horse, Harry. You want to ride Harry out of town? Not quite yet. Let's go and see if we've missed anything else on the map here. We've gone to the Fricker hideout. We've gone to the Boring Springs Boneyard, Thousand Snakes Gulch, and the Oriole Mine. I'm going to go back here to the Oriole Mine, though, because they said to stay away from here, so all the more reason to go back and have a little bit more fun. And apparently, we should be making our way down a couple of floors. So. Let's come over here, and they said, I think, not to go down to the fourth floor. You suddenly remember what weird, that weird Pete, uh, excuse me, that weird thing that Pete said about level 40. Is that a real thing? Uh, where do you, uh, where do you want to send the cargo elevator to? Level 40. So now we're going to go ahead and send it down to level 40, and we get a box. Open the chest. A wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off. The chest inside is a hat. It looks evil, not an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like the eyes of a murderer. And it has teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal who would be the murderer of animals if animals understood the concept of murder. So we're going to put it on. You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It will be as though your life is a game, and that game's difficulty level is increased if you catch my meaning. Mm, should we do it? Mm. If, 
if I if I do this, you really got to share this video out and let people know about this. Here we go. Bring it on. You grab the terrible hat and put it on your head. You hear a sigh of pleasure coming from above your forehead as you feel the hat's teeth sink into your skull. This is going to be great, the voice whispers. So now I'm playing in hard mode, apparently, which is probably the worst thing ever. So we haven't even stepped out of our town yet and gone into the real game as of yet. Uh, so yes, we've just decided to do something very bad. Uh, so, okay, we've gone ahead and done everything we can now, so the only thing we can do is get our crazy horse, Harry, which he's not crazy, he's more of a ghostly horse, which was hard enough as it is, and we'll go ahead and uh, ride out of town. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back, and any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Uh, on second thought, let's do this. I'm gonna go back here. I've been trying to stay out of the bar as much as possible because there's just so many people to talk to here, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk here. Are you Susie Cochran? Uh, how do you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Susie scowls a bit and mutters in her, uh, into her whiskey. I saw it happen, saw the whole thing, and, it could, and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. Uh, cows, right. I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? Yeah, it was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to uh, ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Go on. <coughs> well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out what used to be a cow um, ranch, and they attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed the front door, and a fire started out the back by the root cellar. A uh, house went up in blazes just like that. So what'd you do? I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. I saw Tim. Oh, lovely. A character named Tim. No one named Tim ends well in a movie or in a game. I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. Yeah, very inspiring. Red shirt Tim right here. Uh, I just, she drains her glass. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. Uh, she refills her mug from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Uh, head west, I suppose. Nothing's keeping me here and I and no desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of anybody. Where is it? Uh, I left it at the ranch like a fool. Uh, listen, can I ask you for a favor? I need someone to go and get it for me. Yeah, I'll get it for you. All right, so you discovered a new map location. We're going to the Cochran Ranch. But not before making sure that we talk to anybody else that we're supposed to. We'll leave him alone. I'd love to quickly change my hat, <laughs> but it's stuck. Uh, let's see. You tip your hat to the bartender. Uh, took care of that goblin. Thank you, kindly hawk. I knew uh, it, he was a stand-up feller. Stand up, feller. The moment you walked in here, she reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. At least I can do uh, by my way of thanks. 200 meat. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and give her the mugs. And you hand her recovered the recovered mugs and collect your bounty. 75 meat. And uh, let's just say, I'm just going to say howdy. Well, the mission is accomplished, I reckon. Take your lead. <clears throat> let's go find out about this guy. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, I say all kinds of things. For instance... Thunder Nation, there's a snake in my sleeping hole. Oh, dear. Um, Pete takes a swig of the whiskey. Pete notices the shiny rock you're carrying, and his eyes get uh, light up. Hey, there, that's a shiny rock you got, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for the rock. Don't sell it to him. Uh, he shrugs. Uh, suit yourself. See you later. Should I do it, or do we need it for something else later? We've entered hard mode in this game, so uh, let's go ahead and just sell it to him for seven whole meat. Why not? Uh, let's come over here. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands. How to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Can I play? I look at you nervously. Uh, look, I have some meat. Let's play. All right, we're going to play a round. You put 20 meat on the table and uh, sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the card sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, a three, and a king. So what does that equal? Tens, so that's 20, uh, plus a 2, 22, a 3, 25, and a king. Uh, technically, I think, isn't it 21? So if that's the case, then we're over 21. 
Oh, but no, if we're, what are we playing? I guess the question is, what poker are we actually playing? So, let's see, we're gonna bet aggressively. Okay, you look at each, uh, yeehaw, I bet 15 meat. They look at each other nervously, but they both call your bet. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house. Two jacks and three aces, and the guy on the right somehow got a uh, flush. Two through six and hearts. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and intimidate them. <laughs> you, ex <laughs> you explain the jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy that was left a total of 21 points to the gal on the right, 20, and you're 25 plus a king. <laughs> and the king means that they have to either pay you in human teeth or an extra 10 meat each. They gasp, push more meat across the table at you, you collect your winnings, stand up, and they thank you for helping them learn the game. You gain 50 meat. And I think I gained some moxie and some things in that process too, so um, I'm just gonna roll with that. We won't wake him up. I'm not gonna look in that spit jar again because we already know how that played out. Okay, so uh, let's go look over here at the map here real quick and see what we got. Uh, I think we're about as prepped as we can be here. I'm not really sure where to go here. Oh, southwest map. We'll keep an eye out for that southeast west map. Southeast west map, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the map here. And we're going to go to the Cochran Ranch here before we scoot on and see how much cha more challenging we made this. Cochran Ranch estimated, esti estimated, <laughs> uh, started in like 1894. Okay, so water in this throw is boiled away. Oh, that's lovely. All right, Susie's Ranch House was burned to the ground. I'm just looking for stuff to see if there's anything I should know about. So far, nothing, nothing on the hearth. Okay, nothing here, no, nothing to dig. I'd rather play it safe and check everything. Okay, something's behind the door, it's making some pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway. Sounds like a great big bull. I'm gonna wait just a half a second here before we do that, because we're doing this in hard mode now. So, let's see here. Outhouse is the only thing still standing, okay. Well, obviously we have to go in there because the gun obviously is in there. So, here we go. All right, so we're in the cellar right now. And let's see what's over here. Nothing, okay. Let's see. Uh, we got a vermin skin and knife right there. And that's all we got from there, apparently. Let's check over here. It's for pies. If these pies were not safe. Oh dear, here we go. Uh, remember we just entered hard mode. So I have a sneaking suspicion that we probably are not gonna be able to get around him. Thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to the safe without dealing with it. Here we go. All right, so he is 15 out of 15. My melee weapon will be 10 out of 11 damage. I'm wondering how hard he can hit me. My pistol, four out of five. I can meet up. I don't need to do that just yet. So we'll start with an attack. All right, 10. All right, here we go. Okay, three. Three is not terrible except that I'm apparently on fire, but I can attack him again and it should kill him off. Okay, there we go. All right, press the key to continue. Thankfully, hard mode is not that hard mode just yet. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's go and uh, open up the gun safe. And we got Susie's rifle. Okay, great. So I think we're good here. Pies were definitely not safe. And we're ready to get out of here as long as there wasn't anything waiting for us, which I don't think there was. So we'll go ahead and head back to the one, the only, Boring Springs and give this gun back to Susie. Da, 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 da. Let's go back this way. And here we go. Uh, you found my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here it is. Susie's eyes well up in tears and you hand her the rifle and she uh, roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Uh, thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Hawk. Thanks, Hawk. Can't roughly say, rightly say what that mean, what that means to me. She t looks at the rifle for a long moment, looks back up at you, and she sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing and mystery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want uh, me to tag along, then you best he uh, head west. You just say the word. Okay, sounds good. So, I'm going to ask her to go with me. Or, okay. Thanks again for finding my rifle. Let me know if you need anything or if you want me to come with you. I do, so come with me. Uh, that would be wonderful. Since you have a great big gun, I think that would be preferable. So we're gonna go and get the horse here. Uh, just browse the thing. We're gonna take our horse and take our leave. 
Once you leave Boring Springs, you can't come back. All right, we're going to leave. All right, then you're, prob you're properly horsed and ready to start your new life to the West. All you need now is a partner, somebody to share the trail with, somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? You can take Crazy Pete, you can take Susie Cochran, or you can go alone, and your hat loves the idea. Um, I think we're going to take Susie Cochran, because she doesn't got the big rifle. Uh, you pop back to the saloon to get Susie. Hit the trail. Okay. One last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to decide for yourself where your XP gets spent? You can always change this later in the options menu. I'm going to let this person continue to spend whoever this person is. Spend my points. Okay. You consult with the south southeast west map, and the holster ga the hostler gave you, and only lists two things: the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. You discovered a new map location, the town of Dirtwater, and you discovered a new map location, the Manifest of Destiny Railroad Camp. Okay. So here we are. We are now at the new location, and Susie, don't look too happy. All right, uh, what's new, Susie? I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts and see how bad the cow attacks are getting. All, all right, you, uh, do you know someone? Know some? Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least where, I guess, we'll just have to see. There's one not far from here. You discovered a new map location, the Stearns Ranch, ranch which we'll check out in a little bit. What do you think we should do next? Uh, hmm, if we're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon a train uh, the way to go. Doesn't that map the hosteler gave you uh, have a marker for some railroad map, a camp or other? Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Okay. So we're going to check that out in a little while. Um, Science says, ooh, what's this? Well, hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Or not. Okay. Bye bye. Go into the saloon. <laughs> Another spittoon. This is a spittoon, which is sort of a brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting in uh, at all is not an option in this society, I guess. Say, uh, I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Let's inspect it. This spittoon, which. <laughs> Uh, look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit, but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. Sigh, so here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of spit. Uh, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, actually. Distilled and concentrated until the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. <laughs> so we're going to search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside... <laughs> of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never, ever, ever brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorp. <laughs> Feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. Ah, you found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, uh, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children. Assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. <laughs> you got a filthy porcelain cow. 
That's the best part of this whole game, admittedly. Uh, poker room. We can go into the... Po Man, there's a lot of people here. Is it just me or do I hate talking to people in games, period? Old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Not very good at his job. Okay. Sl slop meat. The man points to the sign on the counter. Slop. Five meat. Buy some slop? No idea. Nor do I care. I can go into the kitchen and maybe get my own. There's so many people. And there's an AC sign that says, See bartender for darts. Ah. There's the stage, which there's a cowbell. Hit it. Okay. Hit it again. Hit it again. Technically, nothing's happening. Um, see, there's a chair tipped over. Set it back up. I get XP for something. That's funny. Uh, obviously, there's not anything to find, apparently. Unfortunately. So... Let's go ahead and uh, see here. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? It's a good question. These guys ha have a spirited discussion about guns, which uh, of theirs is nicer. Hmm. Uh, I would say neither, because that's brandishing. Okay, how about you two? They're engrossed in a conversation, leave them be. Happy to. Uh, isn't this Susie? Yeah, it's my partner. What are these two doing? You guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Guest rooms. Nothing of interest for you upstairs. Are you sure about that? Talking to the partner. Hey, Susie, what do you think of the place? Saw it. Town's a bit busy for my taste, but it makes for a change from being on the road. Gotta wash the dust off once in a while, right? Yep, and you can go back out and collect in some fresh new dust. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and say, heh. Leave it at that. Let's go talk to the bartender. Howdy there, always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks, I'm Hawk. Glad to know you, Hawk. Folks around here, just call me Lloyd. That, what can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Um, I saw a sign out front advertising a room. Need help with anything? I have, I have a shot of bourbon. Who's that old man by the piano? Can I get some darts? I'll see you later, Lloyd. Let's go ahead and go with number two. Need help with anything? Well, if you're handy uh, with mechanical stuff, someone's gone. Uh, something's gone wrong with our player piano player. <laughs> Thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. All right, thanks. I've poked around on, in it myself and lost the key. This is suddenly taking a strange turn. Okay, so I'm going to go and see what... It just got worse. Try to fix him. He lifts up the player piano's player's coat to reveal a hatch in his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Um, so we're gonna need that needle. So we're gonna have to look into that and that could mess things up. We'll see. So we will be looking for some hay throughout this little bit of travel here. So let's go into the dirt water mercantile. Let's see what we got here. Oh, now this is what I'm looking for. This is where we can buy all kinds of stuff with our meat. And for now, even though we have plenty, we're not gonna touch any of them for this moment in time. Let's go ahead and scoot out of here. But we can definitely go there if we need something. Dirt Water Post Office, sponsored by lt and <laughs> Okay, so let's go see what we got here. Hom Hawk Simmons, any mail for me? Nope. Okay, okay thanks. Anyway, I see a little tiny crack. Big cabinet of locked stuff. Here's a newfangled telegraph machine and nothing of interest here, apparently. Uh, let's see, little girl. Selling flowers. Buy some. 50 meat. I'm not interested. Let's go into the jail. Clerk clears her throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. <laughs> Offer to be the sheriff. Uh, uh, do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you b been to sheriff school? <laughs> no. Do you have an ex extensive relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. Uh, then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you're qualified to be sheriff? I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey into a town and become sheriff your first day. Well, when you put it that way, she snorts. If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're, they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. All right, sorry. And it's okay. Like I said, happens all the time. Offer to help. Need any help to, until you find a new sheriff? Sure. 
Uh, if you're look, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectfully. Take your leave, or respectively. So we got jails. Lots of jails. And a ghostly jail. This empty cell is all ghostly. So obviously, we're going to have our work cut out for us. And these are going to be a couple of the varmints we're going to be keeping an eye on. Wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It says a wasted poster. Close enough. So, uh, stripy hat gang for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism last seen in the vicinity, uh, vicinity of Cavern Canyon. A thousand meat reward. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Let's say yes. So we got a new map location. Let's go to this one. It says wanted. The house in the dirt gang. Uh, house in the desert gang. I don't know how to read. Uh, for mortgage non-payment squatting and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen in the house in the desert. 500 meat reward? We'll take it. If you wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house, in any case, uh, at least their location is unambiguous. You want to go after them? Sure. All right. We discovered a new location. What do you need? Just wanted to say hi. Uh, well, I must be getting back to work. She coughs as if uh, to say you should be doing something more important. Okay, fine. Okay, so we definitely got some trouble coming our way. A lot available. Another lot available. Another lot available. Plenty of lots available. There's lots of lots available. Not a lot available past this point. Okay. Talk about wasting your time. All right, let's go check over here and make sure this isn't anything important. Uh, I have 50 meat. We'll go ahead and buy some flowers. Uh, you got sweet smelling flowers just in case if I need them. You never know when you might come in need of that. Now, here's one important thing that I'm thinking about. Let's see if we can get lots of health potions or something of power. Advanced cow punching. Disposable gog binoculars. Dynamite. Plum pudding. Shovel. Soda crackers, tooth powder, tooth powder, Vienna blood sausages. Uh, please read to learn new cow punching skill. The cell value is 100 meat. This is a single volume from a sp sprawling encyclopedia of cow punching knowledge. I'm not sure if I need that. And then my stuff, I can sell my stuff, I guess. Yeah. Huh. So far, I'm uninterested in most of this stuff. I would like to see if I can find something where I could heal up from stuff. Uh, this item is used in combat. Damages an enemy in combat and is sometimes useful outside of combat as well. Cell value, 3 meat. Cell value is only 3 meat and I'm paying 30. Let's see if I can get... Okay. Alright, I'll buy them out. There we go. Um, let's see, plum pudding. Increases your muscle, uh, mystica mysticality, and moxie for one uh, by one for the rest of the day. Cell value is six meat. They call this plum pudding because it's made of goat milk extracted from plump udders. <laughs> I think we already have a shovel. Soda crackers. Increases your speed by one for the rest of the day. Tooth. Increases your muscle, mix uh, mysticality, and moxie for the rest of the day. And Vienna blood uh, sausages is muscle by three for the rest of the day. And the advanced cow punching is the one that they just said single volume of a sprawling. Its cell value is 100. They want 500 for it. I'm feeling very offended at the moment. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do to sell some things, maybe. Ah. Uh, Tough call. I'm gonna hold off for the moment. Guy is way overpriced anyway. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk. Uh, never much for city living too crowded and noisy. Imagine we'll be head back on the trail soon enough. What do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting anything? Let's go ahead and go here. 
Uh, Susan says, sh uh, she sh you should take care of House in the Desert Bandits. All right, fine. Uh, let's go ahead and leave here, and let's go ahead and take a look at our map. And we got all these things now. So let's go ahead and head to the Desert House. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Let's go ahead and approach it. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, he's kind of powerful, uh, and he's 45. Okay, uh, this is going to stink a little. You deal one damage to this target with the pistol. How about dynamite? What's dynamite going to do? All right, I'm going to have to throw some dynamite at him. Here we go. All right, 20 horsepower. Cause, uh, 20 horsepower. <laughs> can, I, can I do it again? Can I, can I attack with a sword now or something like that? And see if we can kind of cut him down the size a little bit, because that was rough. All right, Susie will shoot her target for six damage. Uh, build a cover. You, un, usable at once per fight. Susie will hastily construct some cover in front of you. Uh, six damage right now, that's 19. I'm going to go ahead and quickly build up some kind of thing in front of us because he's about to attack us, I would assume. All right, and we're safe for the moment. So let's go ahead and attack again with another thing of dynamite just because... There we go. Okay. That was expensive. All right, Yeehaw skilled up mysticality level two. You got an item, Cow Fangs. You got an item, Infernal Soul Fragment. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie has become stronger. All right. So there we go. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full-on fracas. So sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yeah, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. All right, so we are now literally sneaking terribly so. Why is Susie standing over here? Uh, looks like these fellows hold up tight. Unless you want to fight in your hands, you have to go real quiet like. Hmm. What do you think we should do next? Now let's go. Hmm. Okay. So before we continue on, let's take a look at our items here real quick. I'd love to get rid of that black hat because now I know how hard it is. Oh, can I just pop it back on? It can never be removed. Oh, bummer. I should have sold it. Okay. So uh, we have nothing on our lapel. We got sweet smelling flower flowers we can attack them with. Uh, let's see here. Damage of four or five, and the pistol is also four or five, so not the most impressive thing ever. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, increases your muscle mysticality and moxie for the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and eat that. Okay, you dust off the turnip and eat it. Now you understand why people don't tend to eat raw turnips. <laughs> pair of silver cufflinks. Uh, okay, we could have sold that. Cow fangs, nothing special there. All right, varmint skin and knife allows you to collect skins from beasts after combat. It's damage of four or five. So that's interesting. In comparison to the deputy pistol, uh, is also four or five. Not that useful. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it over here for the knife. Now, the Calvary Saber is also more powerful, so... Mm, actually, I should probably keep that. Okay, never mind. Okay, overthinking this. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on. From the sound of it, you say this doghouse contains an angry dog. From the sound of it, you say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry dog. So we're going to go ahead and say that. Uh, very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and attack the dog, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, no. No. And that's what we're going to call this one. Obviously, we got our work ahead of us here. This is going to make things interesting. Well, that's going to do it for West of Loathing, episode number three. I do hope that you have enjoyed it as we have died. Hopefully we will come back and 
figure out more next time. But yes, we didn't. We done did died. Man, that stinks. Hey, I want to say a big thank you really quickly to our awesome patrons. Uh, that would be uh, mu uh, music, uh, Lucas Music Official and St Stephen and Lisa for uh, their awesome patronage. Thank you so much for being our patrons. If you want to become a patron, the link is in the description below to support my channel and help me out a little bit. It means a lot to me uh, as we're doing all kinds of reviews, as we're doing a boat build, as we're doing... Um, just a, just a ton of stuff, and even a dollar a video makes a major difference, and I appreciate uh, our awesome patrons for, for that support. You get videos early when you watch. Now, in saying that, we are gaining some serious amount of subscribers right now, like crazy, and I do mean like crazy, but as we release new videos, they are not getting notified, so make sure that you hit that bell icon, and also, really, really importantly, make sure that you do me a humongous favor and go and check out our Instagram. And the reason why you want to go and check out that Instagram, which is right there, Official Legacy Studio, is because we leave notifications when new videos come out on Instagram because I don't personally trust YouTube to let you guys know when a new video is coming out. So go and check out the Instagram. I try to put more on there than just notifications of new videos, of course. But uh, hope that you enjoy my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel here. God bless you. We'll see you all next time right here on Legacy Studio Gaming, episode number three of West of Loathing. Pretty cool game. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.